Hello everybody and welcome back. Oh, little bit of glitch there. Because I minimized the game. And we are at the last episode, which is the six uh, departure. Let us continue. Yeah, I want to see. There will be some cutscenes. Are you serious? Okay, so I don't know what happened. It doesn't. It did not. It did not save after I finish actually. Well, now we can probably um, see all the cutscenes we have to see. This is so dumb. So this will be like extra four minutes, maybe five. Damn. I will skip this end cutscene uh, so we can continue. Previously on Alan yeah. Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The Clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the Clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Archers. <sighs> oh, look, memories. explode and the light hurt my eyes I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain in one of my finer moments of self-deception I swore to quit drinking Ugh. the sunglasses made the world look bearable now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the Sun I wasn't sure I'd make it out there without some painkillers Painkillers in the bathroom. Okay. Mixed Those with the soul, fast. probably. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it. Yeah, she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah! Yeah, that's what the show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Gallet Show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look. Uh, I'm gonna be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. 
But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Well, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for his Sam. There it is. And our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you, and good night. At least I'd been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want an aspirin or something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Then you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah. You're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. An event. There was a lot of peace, and now quiet. Quite fun. Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. But why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Good luck, Al. No need luck. See you later. I am the luck. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I had flicked the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I had stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake. About to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Wow, we go all... alone in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard not to let death to creep go. in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set.
Right, so this might be the hardest part of the game, as it should be, because this is the last episode of the story. Oh, I see some consumables, so why not pick up? That's a checkpoint? Are you serious? Wait, what? Oh. I actually picked up some. I didn't read what. The... No, nothing. Okay, I'm going to take this jeep. It's a lot better than that. Uh, and it's also faster, so why not? Is it here? No. I don't know, it's not. Interesting. The ways. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Oh, we can't drive anymore. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly... What? Now imagine I will run out of bullets, so what, what then? Are you serious? How is that a miss? Also run actually to the safe safe zone unless it will pop. Oh my god, take your time. Yep, it will pop. Awesome. But there is another car. Yeah, something comes back into my mind. Hmm, this will be, yeah, this will be hard. I don't care about them. Unless they are following me from that side to this, then it's a problem. I don't know. Oh no, it's all good. We are at the motel or something like that. No, that's yeah, that's a motel. I think. Open. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Interesting, uh, motel has a shotgun in it. Hmm. Whoops. Ah, oh, it's empty. Just the toilet. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Flashbang. You don't have a pump shotgun this time. Just a double barrel. Oh! I'm going back. <laughs> he actually fooled me. Why are you? Oh no, you are out. Where is he? The first dude. He jumped down and disappeared. Are you serious? Okay. So he disappeared. Now, here it is. 
some reason. Oh, I picked a uh, double barrel. Damn. I thought why did I kill him with a one shot? Let's go on. Oh jeez. I will check for the consumables. I think there should be more. Unless I am completely wrong about Yes, I am. We have to take the car. First hit on the car. Jesus. Wow. Okay. I think I will have to kill them with the car. I have very little ammunition at my disposal, of course. Anybody else? Yeah. Three more. Is that it? No. And we are at the checkpoint. Checkpoint. But we aren't quite safe here either. Oh, a lot of flares. No, just one. <laughs> For some reason I thought those are flares too. Damn, this will be... Oh! Barrels are alive. Oh, shit. I can't believe I get hit here. Ooh. I guess I... And that still hit me. More than yes, slowly, yeah, slowly, really slow. Hmm, I guess it's a bad idea to go that way. Maybe not. That was the correct way to go. <laughs> no, come on. Holy crap. Run. Boxes are in the way. At least that doesn't count as being hit will be really stupid. 
Oh man. What? Oh Jesus. Maybe you? I knew it, that was a bad idea. Holy crap. Ah, you're not a problem. There's a checkpoint. But not really, actually. I got hit? No, I did not. Woo! It's done. Too dark! I see you too. I to see you too. Yay! See more. Hmm. You have to go to the farm actually. Oh my god, I completely forgot about this one. Riders on the storm. I think there was somewhere. What I'm doing? Oh, they are coming. Maybe I won't get gangbanged. No. Just because he stepped down from this he couldn't aim properly anymore wow game really i will get rid of the scar because i want to take the new one this is going to be broken soon <laughs> okay he's gone but i have a feeling that they will respawn again so what's up stairs? There is something. One flare? Wow game. Three shots on the revolver. At least we have a checkpoint here. Wait, what? Okay. There's another farm. Uh, I'm not sure if there was something. Uh... Seriously, look! My car is already smoking with two hits. Like, seriously? Another car. I will take that instead. This is already broken. What will happen? I don't remember. I guess you could actually or 
Probably I'm mistaken here. What happened? They are still following me, so I just get rid of get rid of them. Guys, they teleport behind me. Both are dead. Okay. Deceased. Um. Wait, wait. I think you can drive around. Yeah. I see. <laughs> they were waiting for me. You can get there. Not really. All right. Checkpoint. Yes, more ammunition. And bomb shotgun, of course. But just in case, how many? Nine. No, I'm going to take 15 instead. Yeah. We didn't pick any revolver ammunition, so that's bad. Oh no. I don't think I'm going to use anything on them. Oh yes. Yes, yes. Are they gone? Oh. I only burn down their darkness, I suppose. Yes, we gain some ammunition. Bloodgun shells? Great. More ammunition, awesome. And more shells. What? Where are you? No. Oh! Jesus, from behind. Ha, huh, interesting. First time ever having that. Anybody else? Sort of? Yeah, they are still coming. Okay. Still coming? Doesn't mean I have to... Holy crap. What? From where? I just looked around. There was nothing. Seriously, I just spent... Oh my god, so many flares. This is what I hate about the um, sort of these horror games. They are coming infinitely. Doesn't matter if you get rid of them, kill them, um, pull them, screw them, whatever. They will still respawn. Wow. He's stupid. Yeah. Four cars? I will check for the it's 20 more minutes almost 30 well i will cut this part here and we will continue from this place i suppose so in a bit